In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my project timeline template in Google Sheets. Now, this template is also often referred to as a project management template or a Gantt chart template. But regardless of what you call it, what this template does is allows you to enter tasks and the start and end date for those tasks. And then the timeline for that task will be displayed visually by coloring the background of cells on the timeline over here on the right. So there's actually a few different versions of this template that I have available. And in this video, I'm going to go over the combination version, which contains both daily, weekly, and monthly tabs. But you can also find templates that contain just daily, just weekly, or only monthly tabs. But in the combination version, what you do is modify the daily tab and the weekly and monthly tabs are automatically filled in. And so on this version, you can view your tasks in three different timelines. So before I show you where to get this template, I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing that you want to do is set the start date for your timeline. So here in cell E2, I'm going to type 2-11-21 and then press enter. And this begins my timeline starting at 2-11 and automatically increments it off to the right by one day for each column. And here in cell I4, the cell has highlighted green, indicating that today is 2-15. When I made this video, it was 2-15, and so this cell is highlighted to indicate that it's today. So now that the timeline is set, I'm going to enter a few different tasks. Now, as you can see here, when I typed text into the cells, the background color turned to gray. And that's because we haven't set the start date yet. These backgrounds on the task column will turn gray if the timeline for the task has already passed. And Google Sheets thinks that it's already passed because we haven't entered the date. And so what I'm going to do is type a start date of 2-1 and then set an end date of 2-20. So as you can see, the cell background has now turned blue, and this indicates that the task is in progress, meaning that today's date falls somewhere between the start date and the end date. So blue means that the task is in progress. Now the more important thing is that our timeline has filled out with green color. As you can see, the color spans from 2-11 to 2-20. And if I had entered an earlier date for the timeline, my color would be even wider because the start date falls before the first date on my timeline, but that's okay. This is showing me that the task meeting one spans from 2-11 to 2-20. For meeting two, I'm going to set a start date of 2-16 and an end date of 2-18. So again, the task is being displayed visually with cell background color, and it's showing us that meeting 2 spans from 2-16 to 2-18. And you can see that the background color has turned to white, indicating that the event has not come yet. It's not in progress but it's not passed yet, it's still coming up in the future. And so for meeting three, I'm going to set a start date of 2-12 and an end date of 2-14. So once again, the timeline of the task is being displayed here from 2-12 to 2-14, but the cell background color here in cell A8 for meeting three is gray. And again, this indicates that the event has already passed because today is 2-15 and the end date of this task is one day before that on 2-14. So before I go over how to do a couple of other things, I'm gonna click on the weekly tab and the monthly tab to show you how these have automatically been filled out. So when I click on the weekly tab, my tasks are still off to the left as they were when I filled them out on the daily tab but my timeline has adjusted and it's now showing a weekly view. Here you can see that the columns increment by seven days rather than by one day. And we can see that meeting one spans through these two weeks, meeting two 
spans through these two weeks and meeting three is present only in this first week. And we can do the same thing for the monthly tab. But since in this case I entered date ranges that are so small, my tasks only fall within the first month. But here on my website is an even better example of the daily, weekly, and monthly tabs. And so here are daily tasks. Then we see those same tasks condensed down into weeks. And then we see those same tasks condensed down into months. So I'm going to click on the daily tab again, and I'm going to show you a couple of extra features that this template has. So here in column D, you can select the priority for each task. And when you select the priority, it will change the color of the timeline for that task, depending on the priority that you set. And so the default priority color is green, which is normal priority. But you can also select important, which will change the color to yellow, or you can select critical, which changes the color to red. And so this makes it really easy to spot the most important tasks and to be able to identify tasks that are more routine and not quite as important to watch. Now, a lot of people have asked me how you get rid of the text here with the cell background color on the timeline. Some people just want to see the cell background color and they don't want to see the name of the task popping up. And so if you don't want to see that, there's a really easy way to fix that. Simply drag your cursor over here to these arrows that are pointing up and down between rows four and six, click one of these arrows, and it's gonna give you a warning saying that you should not edit this. But in this case, let's click OK. And now I've unhidden row five. And what I'm going to do is select row five by clicking on five once, and then I'm going to click delete. Again, I'm going to click OK. Now I've deleted all of the formulas in row five, which gets rid of the text that pops up when the cell background color appears for the timeline. Now I'm simply going to right click on row five and then click hide row, and then again click OK. So on that note, I'll show you how to get your own copy of this project timeline template. Simply click the link below in the description for this video, and that will take you to the page that contains all of the project timeline templates for Google Sheets. On that page, you'll find more instructions and you'll be able to select the version of the template that you want. And when you click the link to the template, you'll end up on a page that looks like this with a blue button in the upper right corner that says use template. Make sure that you're already logged into your Google account, then click the button that says use template and Google Sheets will automatically make you your own copy which you'll be able to edit so that you can start using your own timeline template. So I hope that you like this template and that it makes your work a little bit easier. If you do like the template, please like this video and share it with other people so that they can make their daily work life just a little bit easier too.